Hey guys, we're doing the Battle Bunkers Competition Review Part 2, and today we're going to be talking about these sweet cards. These are featured in the National Blaster League, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to set them up so you can take a look at all these cards. Yes. Now I'll put a link below to Battle Bunkers, so if you're interested in purchasing any, you can click on that. Also, full disclaimer, I'm not getting paid to do this. I went to Target, bought this myself. It was $24 plus tax. So let's get into looking at the cards. Okay, here's a look at the uh, the awesome cards you get with this this uh, Battle Bunkers competition set. Now I believe all the uh, Battle Bunkers team sets come with these cards, which is pretty sweet. And these are featured in the National Blaster League. So let's take a look. This is the first card you uh, look at when you get it to kind of get an understanding of what's going on. Okay, now check out. You get all these different team ones, which are pretty cool. And see how it shows the... Uh, placement of each bunker that way you can have it set up correctly for the game so we have another one here this is big team battle and see that the setup's a little bit different than the other one and here is the battle royale which is pretty cool of course another setup and here we go capture the flag and that's where those two flags that come in that you saw in the first video that come into play is you get a red one and a blue one, you set up one on each side to play with. Here is Capture the Flag, a little bit different setup as well. And that's another setup for Capture the Flag. So they, basically the idea is they give you different options to kind of help you in negotiating the, uh, the waters of play for this kind of game. So let's take a look. Here's Battle Royale, which is pretty sweet. There's a big team battle. And it shows you on the bottom here the respawns, the rounds, and the players involved for each game, which is pretty neat. Let's see, here's a big team battle. And here's a big team battle. Let me zoom in a little bit. See how it shows the players and the rounds and, and respawns. I think that makes it a lot nicer that way, you know, one one guy came by, ah, that's not the rules. Well, here's the rules. So everybody knows what's going on. It makes it much more uniform and clean game. And that way everybody can concentrate and having fun instead of saying, well, I thought it was this or I thought it was that. You know what the rules are because they're right there. Here's the spawn cards. You get two of those. And check out these. You have these for each game. Each team gets some, uh, gets some cards. You can play these during the game. Teleport, blaster, sick, blaster Swap, Safe Zone, Ammo Steel, which is a nice one, Freeze Tag, and see it says Effect 1 per second. What's what's great about these cards, they spell everything out, so there is no, there is no misunderstanding. Body armor, that's a pretty good one too. And here's the bunker shield. And like I said, these are really cool cards. It makes it so much fun, more fun to, to play the games when you have these cards because you can kind of set up, you have rules set on here. It makes it easier. As far as I know, I haven't seen anything else that even has anything like this. I hope you like this part. And let's go to uh, checking one more section out. I want to show again the difference in size between the new inflatable Battle Bunkers and the old ones. So let's check that out. I just wanted to show you the comparison of the new Battle Bunkers compared to the old ones. As you can see, it's distinctly taller, the new one, and wider, which I like for parties because the kids have a little bit better coverage for when they're hiding from their, from their foes when they're having a battle. Also, one thing I wanted to show, because you can see a little bit easier, comparison. Let's, okay, see the valve, how small it is. Next to my finger, see how it's small? Check out the new one. It's, it's, a three, it's three times bigger. And basically what it means is it's just a lot faster inflate and deflate. Now, for me, it makes it better because I like to have them deflated when I go to parties. And then I pump them with my, I have a Ryobi air pump I use to blow them up. 
Now I, I blow these up, but the problem is I got to sit there and hold that valve open to let all the air out. And that takes like five minutes or so. This bad boy, I can just open it. I can walk away, continue to break down my tables, put my blasters up from the party, and it's good to go. And that's why I, I am loving these new ones. I hope you like my video, and thank you for watching.